How's it going, everybody? Just wanted to give a heads up. This week's episode and next week's episode will both just be kind of slightly shorter questing episodes. We'll mostly just be doing a big time questing grind. And I'm, I normally would just kind of put this into one episode and then uh, the next one would be, you know, a different thing. But I'm I'm still working on the cooking grind. I'm going to I'm not going to have the cooking grind episode ready in time to be able to get it out next week. So I'm just going to split this into two episodes so I, I don't have to miss a week. We can have content both weeks. But um, and plus, there was quite a bit of pressing content, actually. So it would have been a really long episode if I did one episode. But... So I hope you enjoy and just wanted to give a heads up. About to finish Rag and Bone Man 1. This is a, it's not a terrible quest. It's annoying. Mainly because there's just so many inventory slots, you know? Boom. All that XP. Oh, baby. Okay, I just did the Alfred uh, Grimhands bar crawl, whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, I want to smash my vials. Okay, cool. All done. <laughs> So that means so that we just automatically smash our empty vials after we drink a, a potion. And uh, I know it's a prerequisite for a couple other quests and whatnot, but got it done. On to the next. Okay, so we just kind of hit the next um, slight grind, actually, because the next quest is a scorpion catcher that we want to get done. And we need 70 agility to just be able to get through that little pipe there, that shortcut, so we don't have to have the dusty key. And we're going to want that anyway because we'll get blue dragons for slayer tasks almost definitely multiple times. We're going to want it. So I'm just going to go and get that done. we got to go over to Camelot. I already got Graceful on. I will uh, get rid of a lot of the stuff in my inventory just so we're lighter. Um, Yeah. So we don't have, unfortunately, we don't have the thing that makes it so that we can just teleport right so we can just teleport to the bank and make the um the lapse a bit shorter so like otherwise we got to start over here at the end of the course and then we got to run all the way back over where if you if you complete like the hard diaries for this area you can just teleport back over here so it, it does save time but we don't i'm not gonna worry about doing that obviously i'm already at 65 agility from doing barbarian fishing so we only need five levels i think i'm gonna just knock this out it's gonna take a decent bit not the most exciting grind but Let's get it done. You know, it's something important to just get done. So here we go, baby. Well, today was the day RuneScape stood still. All freaking day, the servers have been down. We haven't been able to play all day long, so I'm way behind, and it sucks. <laughs> but I'm getting back to the agility grind, and uh, we still got three levels, but we're halfway through this one, so it's not too bad. It's not too bad. We'll get it done. It does suck that I wasn't able to make any progress today, but I just kind of had to bitch about that real quick, I'm sure. All you guys were bitching too. I mean, it's a whole day of of missed gains, and it's it's saddening. Holy shit! You're not gonna fucking believe it. We can hunt the squirrel at six hundred uh, or no, yeah, six hundred and nine thousand XP. <laughs> Unbelievable! Our second pet. Let's go, baby. I was not expecting that at all. It surprised the shit out of me. Holy fuck, man. That's so awesome. We got the giant squirrel and Rocky now. Let's go. I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> Super early pet. Hell yeah, I'll take it. Okay, so I am here at the GE about to buy a bond. Because I am a broke bitch. And at work has just been slow as shit, and I just I'm just so goddamn broke, and I haven't been able to play in the last like two days, so I'm so far behind. And if I don't just buy it with our gold, then I won't be able to play again for another day, and then I'm I'm I might be able to play after that, but it's just it's a bit of a pain right now. So I think I'm gonna just spend the gold, which really sucks to lose all of our money like that, but we'll still have like three mil, you know, it won't be everything, obviously. We'll still have a nice cash stack to be sitting on, but I'll just have to spend basically any time where I'm just I'm not really trying to play too much. I want to be AFK or maybe mobile on my phone. We can just uh, be pickpocketing already nice to try to make some money back because it's like a mill every three hours, a little bit more or a little bit over three hours. It's ever it's a mill, something like that. It's not terrible, but obviously it's not great. It'll take a while to make seven mil back, but we're going to try. So I'm just going to have to do it. Here it goes. Our first fucking bond. It'll be nice. Eventually, I plan on being self-sustaining with this account anyway, so we don't have to buy it ourselves, but boom. 
I think we gotta wait for that to fill, huh? Three mil, 3.5 mil left. Fucking sucks, man. <laughs> and it's 14 days. It'll keep us going, though. Nice. All right. Our first bond with gold. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Does break my heart, though. I am crying inside. I'm not going to lie. All that gold just gone. I'm going to spend pretty much all of my free time whenever I'm, like, not actively working on, like, you know, grinds and shit or whatever. I'm just trying to be super AFK with it. We'll go to Artie Nights and we'll just pickpocket. We shouldn't fail anymore with the, the thieving cape. But if we do, I'll just complete some more of the Artie Diaries and we'll go from there. Okay, final lap before 70 agility. Damn, agility is a slow skill to train. God damn it! Okay, final lap before 70 agility. Damn, agility is a slow skill to train. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so glad for it to almost be over. I was not expecting to get the damn squirrel. I was just not expecting that at all. But I'm stoked. Now I got the squirrel and the, the raccoon, our first two skilling pets. And I didn't, uh, I think I, I didn't show this on, on, on here yet. I just did it on stream, but I built the, the, the storage thing for the animals in our house so we can store our animals at the house. I'll show it once we get back over there. There's 70 agility. Let's go. Thank God. And now we probably won't touch agility again for quite a while. Because we can't really utilize these um, these marks of grace, so we're just kind of wasting the fuck out of them right now. So I'd rather wait until we can utilize them with our stamina potions at least, get our herb lore up high enough to be able to do that. That would be great, but uh, it'll be a while for that. But we don't really need to touch it again for a while. Obviously, it's nice to have a higher and higher agility level, but agility sucks to train. It's really just so damn slow. But um, we're going to start on the questing grind now again. So we're going to do Scorpion Catcher, and then I think we'll get Dragon Slayer 1 done again finally. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. I will let you guys know. Let's get it done. Okay, and here's, uh, I, I wanted to show our, um, menagerie or whatever the fuck where we can store our pets. So I'm going to store them right now because we're going to be doing, like, combat stuff. We don't really need them right now. We'll, they're kind of, we'll take them out more, more so when we're skilling, you know, we're just kind of doing chill stuff like that. I like how they just kind of walk around, though. I need to actually move this. I don't think I really want to ride the fuck here, but I, I don't know. At the same time, it is kind of nice having them walking around like right in our main little central area. I like our house is kind of coming together a little bit now. We have some useful stuff. Oh, I built a portal room. I haven't done anything with it yet, obviously. But um, it was just another, another thing I did in here. I do think we should get our construction up here really soon. Maybe do mahogany homes because there's also some nice rewards that we can get from points from uh, grinding that. But it would be really nice to get our construction up high enough to where we can store our caves of accomplishment so we don't have to keep buying those over and over again. It'd be super fucking nice. Just store those bad boys. I mean, we need like 70-something construction so we can build the um, the one above the teak one. Like the next, the next two above the one that we're currently at. Not even the one above the current one we're currently at. We can only store one cave of accomplish accomplishment in the next one. I can't store any in our current one. But then in the one that's above the next one, we can store three. So that'll at least be pretty useful. But I'm, I'm coming over here so that we can grab the anti-dragonfire shield. Because like I said, we're going to do uh, Dragon Slayer 1 finally. And then... And, and in Scorpion Catcher, we also need to run past some blue dragons. So it's just going to be helpful. I'm not going to really... I'm just going to keep my graceful on to keep it nice and fast. Just for Scorpion Catcher, because we don't really need to do too much combat. Everything will be pretty easy. But yeah, I'm just going to grab this, and we'll get it done. Boom. Scorpion Catcher, done. There's some strength XP. 61 strength, nice. Okay, Vampire Slayer is completed. There's some attack XP now. And I think, I'm pretty sure, isn't that the one that gives us the Slayer points? I don't know, maybe I'm thinking of a different one. You get like 30 points to be able to skip a task, and then you can use that one lady. I think I'm thinking of a different one, to be honest with you. And this is the one that gives you the Slayer points. Because now we're messing with, with Spria. Gotcha. <laughs> My bad. There it is, baby. There's our um, core scene of interest. Complete 1,000 Slayer XP, 30 points, and some reinforced goggles. Boom. 35 Slayer. Let's go. Okay, turning in um, Death Plateau, this fucking stupid-ass quest. This dude needs 10 fucking bread, 10 trout. Like, what a little prick. I had a death pile for it because I just did not have enough space. We're not done yet. Of course we're not done yet. 
Why would we be done? I forgot that we have to go up here. Oh, man. All right, there's the stupid-ass quest done. God, that is some tedious-ass shit. <laughs> Thank God. There's some fucking attack XP. Can we get anything? Nothing? Okay. Rising. Fucking close, though. All right, on to the next. Okay, so we are going to do Depths of Despair next, and for that, we need, like, 20% Hosidious Favor. So, and I need to get to 45% Hosidious Favor anyway to be able to do Mess Hall. So we're just going to get this done. We're going to just plow until 45%. Really doesn't take too long. A lot better than like making compost, obviously, as an Iron Man, it's just not viable. <laughs> take fucking just a ridiculous and tedious amount of time when we can just push this thing for a little bit extra long and we'll get there no problem. We're at 16% right now. We really don't need to go too far, but I'm gonna get this done, and then we're gonna do Deaths of Despair and we'll go from there. Okay, we have reached 45% Hosidious Favor, so we should be go with the uh, Mess Hall and Depths of Despair quests, and I'm going to do Depths of Despair now. It's super quick. It was super nice. I don't even see why composting exists when this is a thing. Well, I guess if you're a main account, you could just buy the stuff, then it wouldn't be that, that bad, but uh, yeah, this was pretty damn quick. I mean, I didn't do it for a while. There a couple hours. because It's today Thanksgiving, so I was uh, you know doing some Thanksgiving stuff, and I just finished this up now, and I want to go get a bunch of questing done, so back to the fucking grind. Nice, there's Deaths of Despair done, and we get another uh, favor certificate and a memoir page. Now we can just fast travel to Hosidius, which is nice. But, uh, so we pop that. Pop that in there. Yes. Beautiful. On to the next. Oh, it's a Hosidius favorite thing. I didn't realize that. I thought I could use it for anything. I didn't remember that it was specifically for Hosidius. We didn't have to go all the way to 45% then. Well, we only had to go to 35%, but it's fine. It was still pretty damn quick. It's not a big deal. Now we're up to 55%. But Mess Hall makes your favor go up super fast. So it would have just been uh, definitely nice to remember that. So we could have saved a little bit of time on the plowing. Okay, so we are in Entrana again. Another one of these damn quests done. Doing the Lost City so we can get into Zanaris and do Fairy Tale Part 1 so we can use Fairy Rings. Gonna help with questing. Just you know, from here forward, but first we gotta get a fucking axe to drop, and they just will not drop me an axe right now. Pretty unbelievable stuff here. And, uh, the big guy that we- Oh, thank you. There's the axe. The big guy we gotta kill, though, is just safe spawnable, so it's not gonna be a problem. It shouldn't be anyway. You are powerless to me and my mushroom. There's no way you can bypass this fucking mushroom, bitch. Okay, so I did see that it said you need 31 crafting, but I just, I was like, what the fuck do I need the crafting for? And I figured we would at least get, you know, the hard part done, but we need the fucking crafting to carve the damn Draman branch. That makes sense. So I just need two levels of crafting, and we actually almost have this one. So, uh, I'm gonna just go get that really quick. Okay, so this is actually, like, one of our best training methods for, um, for crafting. So we're at Fort Port Phasmatis. It's, like, the closest charter ship to a damn smelter. And we'll just maybe make him molten glass and then blowing it into, you know, whatever the highest level thing is that we can make. It won't take too long. Right now it's oil lamps. Won't take too long to hit 31, but I might go a little bit more than that. I'm not too sure. While we're here, you know, just get some crafting levels. Crafting is one of our lower skills still. It's only 29. Maybe get it up to like 40 at least. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, we are about to hit level 40. It's it's not too bad. It is a slower grind. We just got to constantly be hopping worlds and just running back and forth. It's just a bit of a tedious grind. Not great XP per hour or anything, but I, I think we might go until 50 because we do need crafting for quite a few different quests, like a certain crafting level and whatnot. And then we need 49, I think it is, for the Sapphire Lantern. I think it's 49. I could be wrong on that, but... Uh, and that's pretty important for Tears of Gothic's quest, and I think it's an Achievement Diary thing we need to have it for. Um, but Tears of Gothic's would be nice to get done as soon as possible so we can start getting that bonus XP like every once in a while from that. So I think that we might just stay here until we get 50. It won't really take that long. Hopefully I can get it uh, a couple more hours. I'm not sure. Okay, about to hit 50 crafting. God damn, it's a slow skill, though. It's going to take forever to get crafted in 99. Like, holy shit, man. But, uh, there is... 
50 crafting. Let's go. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, wait, we're good here. We did hit uh, 1225, it said, I remember. Total level. And now we're going to go back to questing. We're going to finish up Lost City and uh, just keep knocking out quests. We're going to get Fairy Tale Part 1 done as well, just so that we have the uh, Draman Staff. Unfortunately, with Draman Staff, we do have to, like, whenever I drop it, because we want to make an inventory slot freed up, we're going to have to go all the way back to Entrana and do that whole process again. Oops, fuck. To, uh... To get another one. It's super annoying. So that's why, like, you know, we'll, we'll have it for a while. We're going to be doing questing for the foreseeable future anyway. So it, it'll be nice to have it now. Um... I gotta go get a knife. But it'd be nice to have it for now, you know, to do the, all this questing that we're about to be doing. We'll be questing for, for another couple of days still. We're gonna be on quite a questing grind still. Where the hell? Nobody's got a knife? I, I mean, like, oh, hello? Why sell some basic things that should be at every general store only at some general stores? Like, I just don't get that. It's just so annoying. <laughs> like, I just gotta hop around to different general stores to find a knife. It's just so goddamn stupid. Oh, there is actually a knife spawn over there. I do remember that now. But, no, it's really dumb. But, um... There's one. But yeah, so we're gonna get this done. Then uh, here, let's make this. Boom, the drama staff, baby. All right. So now, what do I gotta do? I gotta go back. Boom, Lost City done. So now we're gonna get Fairy Tale Part One done, and then we'll just start Fairy Tale Part Two, so we we can use Fairy Ring. 